was blowing, even on the windiest day. Hummingbirds utilize cover near gardens and feeders in between feeding sessions. Dead snags or bare twigs in nearby shrubs become favored resting spots and can be predictable places to search for perched and dozens of books on butterfly and hummingbird gardening. 
Susan have slipped onto these lists and are perpetuated in book after book. The list of recommended nectar plantings and host plantings that accompanies this article is the result of years of gardening for butterflies and hummingbirds in southern New Jersey and visiting other gardens in New Jersey, surrounding states, and when traveling around the country. Jane Ruffin, Rosemont, Pennsylvania. Karen Williams, Woodbine, New Jersey. Jim Dowdo, Phyllis, New Jersey. Michael Pollock, Northern New Jersey. And Denise Gibbs, Gathersburg, Maryland. All played key roles in fine-tuning this list to reflect the very best choices for this region. As you review the list, you'll see that certain aspects of it make it highly useful. The top nectar plants for both butterflies and hummingbirds are listed as chocolate cakes. This is Jane Ruffin's term for the flowers that are irresistible to butterflies no matter what else is in 